What's up YouTube? This is the Wisco Border Channel. My name is Chad. As uh, Scott and Heidi get ready down there, this video is going to be all about replacing that port light window. Uh, there's not much information out there on YouTube on how to do this, so we're, we're going to show you a step-by-step -step process of pulling the old one off and putting a new one in. All right, this is Scott and Heidi Bader. We're on board their 1988 Carver 36 aft cabin, and uh, they're going to tell us all about how to replace the port light. So we learned tri by trial, it's really important to leave the screen in because when we did that one, we took the screen out so in we were, fear we the of ripping. damaging the screen. And when you take the screws out or the springs out, they go flying. <laughs> so you want to make sure they fly inside the boat, not outside the boat. <laughs> Luckily, that one flew onto the dock and we were able to find it. So we saw this on a different video, and I apologize that I don't remember the guy who did it, but who he showed us how to get the pins out. So, but I just took a what, 16 penny nail, nipped off the end, because you've had to punch these from the, from the inside. they've got these little heads on the end. I don't know if you can see that. That if you try to do it that way, it's going to just get stuck. Ah, okay. There you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> so if you can't get the pin out, then the next step would be to take channel locks and go ahead and show them. You just flip it on there and just and then hammer it with the hammer. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nail gets stuck. And just real quick, White, what's the reason for replacing these? Look. It's because they're cloudy. <laughs> they're very, very There's, cloudy. Well, they're and cloudy, that. but also these na these ends broke off. Okay. So, so we were getting can't. water in here. Ah, okay. Yeah. And we chose not to replace the whole piece because we're not getting, this isn't leaking. So we just chose to replace the windows themselves. Okay. Which are very hard to come by right now, too. Yeah, we're hoping that. And we aren't replacing them all, but just the broken ones. Okay. <laughs> I work best alone. <laughs> Yep. Put your nails in there. there Whoa. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Tell it, Jeff. <laughs> Alright. Brand new window. Do we want to say how much these things cost? 120? 130. That's not bad. No. The only difference with <laughs> this. That's a boat part. That's so. a boat part. <laughs> so I did one by myself in the salon and because I was doing it myself I decided we had cut an extra pin so I put it in just to hold it in place while I worked on the other side so which side is the easier which side is the easier side so put it in where's that nail this because it's just easier to work with if you're not trying to hold the side up. Okay, so this spring, the long part goes on the outside. There's a short end and a long end. 
So the long side goes on the outside and the short side goes on the inside. And if you look, this is part of the, um, what is this? Window frame, I The guess. frame. So the short part goes on the actual window frame and the long part goes up onto the window itself. So it sits just like this. <laughs> And then the hard part is jamming it up into this space. Uh -huh. So then what I used is the end of this to push it up into place. And once you get it into place, you have to quick hammer your pin back in. So what I found to be most helpful is if you get the pin as far in as you can, which is gonna take me a minute. Right. That's right. Here you go. And you ignore the neighbor's dog. But you can't, so you can't get it past Supervisor. where the screw goes. Okay, we're doing just a little modification. So what's uh, what's going on here? Well, this pin was jamming when we were trying to put it. We couldn't get it to go all the way through. And the harder you beat on it, the better chance you have of breaking one of these tabs off. And then you're toast. Mm -hmm. So. We tried the old one at your suggestion, and it fit very freely through here, where this one was just getting stuck. And so now, with, by drilling it out, just a little bit, it goes in a lot easier. Look at that. Right. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna put this back in. I still hold it in place. And we need to get this pin all the way to where the spring I said the right word. <laughs> <laughs> so I might have to Okay, so wait, now we gotta back it out. <laughs> it really and truly that tiny bit will cause a problem. So it needs when you hammered in the first time you need to get it flush with this tab. This is my third time I've learned these things. Okay. So now you have somebody hold the window up. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> or in the bedroom or the salon, I had a fire extinguisher holding it up. And again, the long part goes on the window itself, and the short part goes on the casing, the little black casing. Get your hammer ready. This is the hard part. So I jam it up in place. Okay. Oh, you missed your opportunity. <laughs> okay. So much easier with two people. Keep going. Just a second. Yeah, me. keep going all the way through. Wait, is this good? I just want to check it before we do it. I go for a second, please. Yeah, it's right. Okay. And that's all there is to Bam. it. Bam! Ta da! Look at that! <laughs> Brand new. Can actually see out of it now. There's a boat over there. <laughs> so it really is, you can do it by yourself. I did one by myself, but it, it is a lot easier to do with two people. There you go. Excellent. Good work, you guys. You're welcome. Thanks for... Hopefully we can help somebody else. Yeah. Thanks for sharing this. I'm sure many car owners and other types of boats that might use this this window will... This came from a sailboat um, supplier, actually. Okay. Portlight. What's, uh, what sail... Do you remember what sailboat supplier? We don't want to brag about sailboats, do we? <laughs> All right. No, you took the box. Too. And on that note. <laughs> so thanks for watching this episode of the Wisco Boater Channel. Hope you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Send me some comments. And if you want to be notified when I post new videos like this one, hit that notification bell. We'll see you next time. Happy boating, everybody. Oh, see how easy it goes through these? Yeah. This thing's, it's too, we have to drill it out. You have that capability. <laughs> <laughs> That'll go at the end as a blooper. <laughs> <laughs>